I do think this is a situation where I do think in 2018, when Jordan Peterson flippantly tweeted this one thing out, which Cody is now going to spend the next like hour talking about, okay, a single tweet that Jordan Peterson put out, that I don't think Jordan Peterson should have tweeted out this article. I think it's a bad article and a bad study, which we'll get into when he talks about it. Okay. Um, and that's fine. You can say, hey, you know, Jordan, I don't know if you really read this. I don't think you really read this. You probably glanced at it because, you know, the study seems stupid and the article talking about the study seems even stupider. And it's written, the article's written by someone who's kind of sus. And so, fine. If you want to criticize him for tweeting that out, that's fine. But it's like a single tweet from 2018 talking about this that they had to dredge up this is 2018 what, yes it's from 2018 holy shit he tweets this one thing and then like never talks about it again that right. i've ever heard him talk about i've never right. heard him reference the study because somebody said to him right. hey jordan you probably should have tweeted that. <laughs> yeah like someone someone sent him said sus. hey look at this study and he's like oh you know look at this and then someone said hey you shouldn't you know tweet that out and he's like right. oh okay he's like well i shouldn't it. delete it everyone right. will be everyone will ask why i deleted it <laughs> right but no, just but we have to go. spend, you know, we have to spend like 30 minutes talking about how this proves that Jordan Pearson is actually a Nazi now. Right. Okay. Well, we can actually, skip this data part taken if you from want. a 2000 no, no, no. survey it's worth watching. called the Social Capital Community Benchmark Survey, and only five of the questions were actually about trust. And when other researchers took a look at the data, they found that this original conclusion was heavily flawed. For example, the survey very loosely defined what a diverse neighborhood is. Their well, I don't. He doesn't actually, because he's an idiot and can't think of for himself. So when I looked at the, I looked at the study before I looked at the people criticizing the study first. And basically, when you look at the original study, they asked uh, a series of questions. It was part of, I don't know, some census thing. And the, the questions were, do you trust your neighbors? Do you trust uh, the larger community or something? Do you, like, what's your general trust levels and, you know, just people in general? And then they asked also questions like, you know, do you trust people of your specific racial in-group? Do you trust people mm -hmm. of, you know who are whites or black mm -hmm. or Asian or other. Do you, you know, do you trust every specific other ethnic right. group? These are the questions that were asked. And <laughs> I just, but, I'm, I'm dying to take the survey. Right. Let's and see, so, Italians or French, who is more untrustworthy? They didn't, they didn't, they didn't differentiate between the white Europeans, but. Oh, they didn't? Oh, no. damn it. Um, but, <laughs> but the the thing that's stupid about this and why I think Pakistanis or Indians. Hmm, which the is... thing that's stupid about this and why I think that the original study was really dumb, or at least mm -hmm. the conclusion that the person came from the original study is dumb, is because he basically in the study he organizes a chart that sh first of all he debunks he debunks actually that it's that it's racism, which is kind of hilarious because he said if it was racism, then people would de would not trust other people of the out group but they would trust people within their in group mm -hmm. but that's not what he found he found that the more diverse the area that people lived in the more they distrusted everyone yeah they didn't they didn't have trust within their own racial group they just had a distrust of everyone and he created a chart that showed the cities from most trusting to least trusting and in, and one axis is like the trust and one axis is uh how heterogeneous the population is okay mm -hmm. And so it's like as the as the populations become more diverse, people are less trusting. Mm -hmm. But let's think about this for a second. Why could it be that in populations and in cities across the country that have more diverse populations, that people are less trusting of each other? Let's mm -hmm. think about this really hard. Why could that possibly be? Well, in general, in cities, people are less trusting of one another because... Oh, my yeah. fucking God! It's just the city Holy thing. Holy shit. We're yeah. magic geniuses here. Mm. And that's why this study's so stupid. You look at the chart, and it's basically a chart of small towns becoming big towns. Or really? Becoming big oh, cities. my God. Yes. That's hilarious. Yeah. It's like, oh, what a shock. All the small <laughs> rural areas, which have a lot of white people in them, that have, like, population densities of 10. Right. Yeah, like and they have they the, have like the, four cops for every person. Yes, literally, and I shit you not, on the study, the most the the city that had the most trusting 
mm-hmm. and the most uh you know white people mm-hmm. was like rural south dakota no way <laughs> with a fucking no population way. density of 10 okay no i'm like way. are you shitting yeah. me yes and of course the least trusting is like la or san francisco or something like shit. i have you i've lived in like small towns where i mean i swear to god there's a cop for every single person like the cop and yes. the cops have absolutely nothing to do because right. there's no crime Yes. And in the city, it, they're like completely overworked. There's crime right. everywhere. Nobody. Right. Yeah. And that's why I'm, I'm looking at this study. I'm like, this is so <laughs> bafflingly stupid. And it's weird because the guy who did the, who did the study, is some weird. He's some like super lefty type. So I don't I, like. To me, it's just so bafflingly obvious. He's just he's just measuring fucking population density. It's like obviously, when people are in more population dense areas, they become less trusting of other people. Yeah. What a fucking shock. This is like really. Really? Yeah. We need a study to, to tell us this? Because you so. worry about people jacking your shit and sneaking right. off into the crowd. Well, no, it's because when you, yeah, and because when you're in a small town, you know, you literally know the people around you. Yeah. They're not, you're not objectifying them. They're not like, they're not just like another face in the crowd. They're, oh, that's Jim. That's Bob. That's Sharon. That's Susan. You know, you actually know these people and identify with them. Well, so. and the cops, I mean, they have more than enough police to deal with any kind of crime and well I, I think it's i think it's more just that they just know who these they know their neighbors right they know the guy who owns the shop you know blah 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 so hmm. but anyway so yeah i think the study was stupid measurement counting communities with 80 percent whites and 20 percent blacks as equally diverse it also didn't ask questions specifically relating to trust as it pertains to community or diversity what i mean is that different races in general Actually, that's not even what they said. It it literally did ask those questions. It said, "Do you it said how do you rate?" <laughs> I don't even know. Like Cody can't even do, he can't even do his debunking right. The questions literally were like, "How do you rate the trust? Do you trust you know people who are white or people mm-hmm. who are black or whatever?" And then the answers were like, mm-hmm. "I trust them a lot. I trust them a little. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't trust them at all." Blah 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 blah. blah. Dentists, do you trust them or are they pieces yeah. of shit? Right. Yeah. And you're like, well, wait, well, what kind? What color is the dentist? Because <laughs> I'm a racist piece of shit, basically. Exactly, right? exactly. I just need to know. Yeah. Often have different levels of distrust regardless of where they live. So, of course, an area with more diversity will have more people showing general distrust of things like authority, often for good reason. And finally, as an... Ass- <laughs> so he just said something that you won't really understand until I break down the numbers. Mm-hmm. He said, people who live in more in more diverse areas have more distrust of authority, possibly for good reasons. Oh, okay. no. Oh, no. What do you please. think? What is the implication? What do, what do you think he's I suggesting? I think it's not pretty, Sitch, <laughs> what he's implying. He's saying that because that of the horrible racist police. Yeah, exactly. The black people can't trust right. the police. Yeah. No. Right. I know right. right where he's going with this. Okay. He's like, for good reason, they don't trust the cops. Yes. Because exactly. we all know, we all know that the racist police are out to kill people. And he we doesn't, all saw George right. Floyd, okay? And he doesn't say this, and you know what? But the reason he said that is because on that study and on the debunked, and on the study that sort of debunks it, well, mm-hmm. debunks elements of it, guess who's the most distrusting of other people? Blacks. Black people in America were more distrusting of any other yeah. of people of people in general, by the way. Yeah. Uh, than anyone else. Yeah. Well, next next was uh, Hispanic population. Next was Asians, and the most trusting of all people were the whites that responded. Of course, yeah, they're like okay. sitting ducks. The um. Wow. You. Well, no, I'm just I'm, like if you're gonna take advantage of people, who would you take advantage of? The people who don't trust anyone, or the people who trust everyone? Right. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty easy, right? There's a well, and there's an interesting thing too, and this kind of comes up later. It's probably too complicated to get into, but the 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 thing that was that the study really showed us is like people became more distrustful. It was an overall level of distrust. Like the actual distrust levels between like, oh, I trust white people, but I don't trust black people was pretty small. Like most people just either had a general distrust or a general trust. Okay. So it's not too bad. I just, the, the overwhelming messaging that I get towards black people is 
white people are racist colonialist pieces of shit that you should never trust <laughs> like that well yeah that's the woke attitude yeah yeah right and i just i see so much of this i mean i don't uh, we i look at messaging like that and i think it's just you know garbage but i don't know how other people look at it well what the thing part of the thing too was that um Groups would generally trust white people as m almost the same as they would trust their own race. Mm -hmm. So there wasn't like anyone like, oh, I don't trust those white people. Like that wasn't borne out in this study. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Well, that's good. That's great. Side, it found that the people who displayed the highest level of distrust across the board were white people living with more racial minorities. God, holy well, God. Okay, I mean, that's, this again. Wait. that's completely backwards of what you just said. Yeah, I will hold on a second. Yeah, this is important because. As an aside, it found that the people who displayed the highest level of distrust across the board were white people living with more racial minorities. Golly gosh, that sure sounds like a different issue than diversity. Feels like there's a different word for what that is. Not Okay, so. Mm -hmm. I want to shit on Cody so bad right here, and he deserves to be shit on. But this is the this is the problem of just reading a stupid article and assuming that the article what the article is telling you is true, because this is the article fucking up and not understanding the study. And then and this happens very often. You have an article written about a study. The article doesn't understand some part of the study and misreports it. And then a stupid person like Cody reports on the article or they report a study, but they just read the article and then they misreport or they properly report the misreport the misreported thing from the article and they continue the cycle of just misreporting this bullshit interpretation of the study. Right. Okay? It's like telephone. Right. So the article does make this claim that oh, you know, the highest, you know, that whites it says whites living with more racial minorities report the highest levels of distrust. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's a fucking lie. Right. Or the article person who wrote the article is just stupid and didn't actually understand what the article is saying. Or they just made it up because they were pieces of shit. So, well, maybe. That's not what the article said. What the article says is that even though blacks and Hispanics are, are were more distrusting of others than whites across the board, mm -hmm. according to the survey anyway, in all metrics, what the art what the people that sort of debunked the original study did was they controlled for a lot of other factors. So they found out like, oh, for black people, the actual primary factor that focused on whether they distrusted their neighbors or not was not the race of their neighbors. It was whether the person owned a home or not. Once hmm. they owned a home, they were far more likely to trust their neighbors, right? Hmm. You know, things of that nature. Yeah. And they actually, and they did start to talk about population density and economic class and all these other million factors right. that you think would come into the equation. Um, but what they said was, that when they controlled for all these various factors that they controlled for, they found that the biggest influencer on white people's trust value was, you know, whether they were living with non-white people or not. Mm -hmm. So, and this is where this, well, your, your brain, I, you I have to not be means. an idiot to understand this. Okay. Yeah, I'm confused. Okay. So they said, white people overall... Are the most trusting mm -hmm. in general of other people period right. okay however the greatest factor that would be according to the study that would be the most likely factor to make white people less trusting of other people was whether they lived in a racially diverse area or not mm -hmm. okay. or they lived you know not with other white people right okay so they're super trustworthy if they're with other whites if they're in a diverse neighborhood not so trustworthy that's not what they are no that's that's the misconception. Okay. You're not saying that. Okay, so okay. what are you saying then? It's not saying that when white people live with non-white people, they suddenly become super distrusting. They're just saying that the greatest factor that adds distrust was, according to the study, where they lived and what the ethnic breakdown of the people that they lived around was. Okay. They could still be more... Tr this, is, this is where the article gets it wrong, and this is where Cody gets it wrong. You could have, you could have a white person... Mm -hmm. You could have some hypothetical white person named John who's super trusting, and then he, mm -hmm. you know, moves to some 
you know, area that's ethnically diverse and I don't know, that makes them less trusting of people in general. But it's like 5%. It's like a little drop. Right. But he could still be more trusting than everyone else around him. Right. Yeah. Okay. So that's, it, it drops like right. 5%. Nobody trusts exactly. John, but John is still trusting right. everybody. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So the person who reported the study, they confused, as you did originally, which was the perfect example, they confused the study saying that because this was the most influential factor on white people, it must mean that white people were actually the most distrustful of all. When it was literally right. the inverse of what right. the study was. So they're was still the most trustworthy of right. all, even though that was the most affecting metric. Yeah. Right. Okay. 